morning everyone welcome to the video today is going to be a full day of eating i'm excited about it i have the day plan i'm ready to go and i'm super hungry so first meal was just a coffee in the morning i like to have a full cup of water before i take a sip of my coffee i like to make sure i'm hydrated first and then i have my coffee i'm a huge morning coffee person it's just like a routine a habit i love the taste of coffee i don't even really need the caffeine because i'm like awake but love coffee let me know if you guys like coffee in the comment section we're gonna get moving on to the first meal of the day and i wanted to talk a little bit about how i like to structure my meals first so what i usually do is plan meals that i know are going to be like have healthy things in them what i think is like a healthy structured diet that is sustainable for me personally and everyone's different here on like the scale of how strict they are to like complete junk food to like completely clean food all the time and for me it's right around somewhere like in the middle teeter-tottering uh, depending on the day and for me having things that I like to eat so much and that like that feed my sweet tooth and um, all that stuff but are still within my macronutrient range is how I know I'm getting the amount of food that I eat and that I'm satisfied with the food that I eat and I'm also getting in micronutrients as well so I like to plan my day and structure my food um, meals to have protein at least three or four times a day with around 20 grams of protein per meal and I also like to make sure I get vegetables in at least once a day and also some fruits in and also some whole grains and healthy carbs and healthy fats but also I like to make sure that I'm eating food that I actually like and that's like the biggest thing when it comes to sustainability for me is that if I'm eating a meal that I just don't want to eat because I don't like it I'm not going to continue to do it for a long period of time that being said first meal is I'm going to walk you guys through how to make a one carb waffle. I've had people say that they can do this really easily and have people say that they struggle. So I'm gonna walk you guys through how I typically do it. So the first thing you're gonna need is one scoop of protein powder. I use PE Science and this is peanut butter cookie. You're gonna mix that with one whole egg and then you're also gonna mix it with a little bit of water. So don't use too much water. It'll make the batter really watery. You want it to be thick, but not too watery. So you're gonna stir all that together and then make sure your waffle maker is hot. My waffle maker is like old and janky AF, it's so old. I can't tell you guys what brand it is, but there is one in my Amazon store I think is pretty good. So make sure your waffle maker is really, really hot. Make sure you wait for it to heat up. That's another mistake I see people making quite often. So make sure you wait to heat it up. Spray it with some cooking spray and put your batter in. They usually will make one or two, one big one or two small waffles. And then when it comes out, it's perfectly delicious. Ta-da, a one carb waffle with some peanut butter on top. I love this breakfast so much. It's a bunch of protein a little bit of fat, decent amount of fat, and like no carbs. And I like starting my day like that, especially on a low carb day. I feel like it fills me up a little bit more than if I had carbs first thing in the morning. So ingredients are just one scoop of pea science protein, one whole egg, and then one tablespoon of peanut butter on top, a little bit of sugar-free syrup. It is delicious. One of my favorite breakfasts is, and I like sweet for breakfast because I'm a sweet tooth person. I'm usually like sweet tooth morning and then midday is like my savory meals and then like at the end of the day it's another sweet meal that's usually how i like i like i like to set it up so this is that and then i also whenever i have my first meal i take my pills so i take a maca root powder that's supposed to help with like mood enhancing and staying in tune with your body i saw somebody comment on emily duncan's video and said that so i went out and got it on thrive market and then i also take a true multivitamin from pe science i also take a probiotic and fish oils those are the things that I take first thing in the morning, but I have to have food with them. So let's dig in. And if your waffles don't look like this, it's because you're not using peace science protein. Mmm. Mmm. So good. All right, guys. I feel like I feel like you guys are like a little passenger in my seat. So I am headed to the headquarters of a company that I'm working for, with for this video, Thrive Market, and they literally have their headquarters around the corner they invited me to see what it looks like and see what their hq looks like meet the owner meet meet the meet the founder ceo and i'm super excited because i love putting faces to names like i love meeting you guys in person i would prefer that as opposed to just seeing like comments or numbers um and i like meeting companies that i work with in person it just makes it feel more personal it makes it feel more like it's real as opposed to just emailing back and forth online so we're headed there now gonna be there in like three two, three two one go literally took a minute to get here so cute. 
we have made it to Thrive Market. I'm here and we're about to get a tour of the, of the corporate headquarters and then we're gonna have a meeting with the CEO, the founder. So uh, let's get started. Ooh, like the floor is like a, it's padded. I, was, I did not expect that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, you have like, like a decent amount of stuff in here. Yeah, it's, it's like enough. Bad. We have a kombucha thing at um, my office in Santa Monica, actually. Like, like this? Yeah. I love kombucha. So, yeah, this, so this is, is your full on kitchen. Oh, this um, is so nice. Oh, it's like a cafeteria. Yeah, we. That's really nice. Can I come in here for lunch sometime? Yeah. They have all of this food. Ooh. Everything is pretty healthy that we have. Where are those pink Himalayan chips? Those are like the best oh thing. My God. I, can't I literally can't stop eating them. It's really bad. That's probably why we have so everyone, this is Gunnar. That's how you say your name? Gunnar, yeah. Gunnar. He is the founder of Thrive Market and I'm super excited to talk to him today. We're just gonna talk a little bit about like how this whole thing got started. Like the office is amazing and I know this is one of the fastest growing companies. I forget the statistic that you told me. But um, anyways, I am interested in hearing about how this whole thing got started and like what your mission is and all that stuff. So how we got born really to start off with. Yeah, awesome. It's great, great to be here with everybody and thanks for coming in. Of course. You know, it's super personal. You know, our mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable to everybody. And I grew up really poor with a single mom and saw how hard she worked to make healthy choices. And you know, that left a huge impact on me as a child. And when my mother remarried, my stepfather was running a food co-op out of a little hippie commune in, uh, between Santa Barbara and, and LA. And uh -huh. So I got to see firsthand the power of group buying as a way to make food more affordable and build community. And as I went on in my own entrepreneurial career, I always felt like there was an incredible opportunity to disrupt access to healthy food. So that's you know really the crux of, of why we do what we do and really uh, informed how we thought about the, the model, which is that you know, we cut out all the middlemen in the supply chain. So we cut out brokers, distributors, all the retail markup, all the slotting fees. We buy directly from the brands. Right. And uh, then we ship to our members, and our members pay $60 a year, effectively $5 a month, to be able to get organic and non-GMO groceries at 25 to 50% off. It's amazing. And, you know, that's kind of, you know, the, the core way that we think about our success is can we sell organic and healthy alternatives at the same price as conventional equivalents? And the answer is yes. We sell a kind bar with five grams of sugar for less than a candy bar. We sell 70 loads of non-toxic laundry detergent for, for less than you know, traditional retailers that have hormone and endocrine disruptors in them. And for us, you know, while we have this membership model and our members make back their $60 membership fee on their second purchase, we also wanted to make sure that for families that didn't, if they couldn't afford the membership, they could, they could still get access. And so for every paid membership, we give a membership away to a low-income family. And you know, that's, that's something that I care about, having been one of those families as a child. So, so how many families now have memberships? Uh, we have over 400,000 families. So it's, cool. it's been really, it's been the most gratifying. Uh, adventure of, of my life to be part of this. You know, there was one employee out of my house three and a half years ago. Or really? Over 500 today. Three and a half years ago. So it's, crazy. It's, been, it's been a wild ride. And you know, I think, you know, I've been looking for an organizing principle that brings people together around doing good my whole life. And mm -hmm. expanding access to healthy food, I think, is a really beautiful place to play because it really doesn't matter who you are, where you live, what you believe. People want to feel good in their bodies and they want the same thing for their children. So it's it's a really it's a really exciting way to help people deal with major economic issues and we're spending three hundred billion a year. Three hundred billion dollars a year just on diabetes related illnesses in this country and conventional agriculture is the second largest contributor of greenhouse gases and so you know, if we can shift the way we produce, distribute, market, and consume food, uh, we can really empower millions of families, but also really solve some of the biggest problems that we face. I love that. I love that you are just disrupting the way things were previously, completely changing it, and it's not only better, better for your customers, for your members, but it's better for the rest of the world. Like, I love that this company is not only something that's amazing for the people that consume from the company, but it's actually creating an impact in some of the world's biggest issues. 
So I think that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, when we got our first testimonial video from a, a family in our giving program. I would just you know, probably cry. I, I, I literally started crying. <laughs> it, was like, it was a single mom uh, dumpster diving for food out of Whole Foods for her child. And, you know, I dumpster dive for food when I was in college as a, as a full ride scholarship kid and I read this and I'm like, wow, this is like, you know, makes makes all the stress and hard work totally worth it. Absolutely. So what are your like what's your future what do you see the future of Thai markets looking like? You know, I think, I think you know, it's really just what we've already set out to do, which is just to continue to be super excellent, really trusted, a very curated resource. You know, I think that, you know, the good news is that there's a lot of money coming into organic now. Obviously, Amazon Whole Foods, a mm -hmm. lot of other things like that happening. Right. I actually think those are all great things. And I think that uh, there's going to be a really increasing segment of the market that, you know, really wants authenticity and trust. And I think that we have a position to really be that, um, you know, we're the largest retailer of exclusively non-GMO groceries in the country. That's amazing. You know, we focus on advocacy work and, you know, we, you know, we're about to go zero waste with nothing going to landfills out of our distribution centers. So we're just constantly, you know, how do we make it better for our community? We're developing lots of products, which, you know, I'm sure you, you, yeah. you've seen and we'll share with your community. Uh-huh. I've already and, got a bunch of them there. Awesome. Right? Yeah. Have you tried the, the coconut flakes yet? No, I that haven't. That is the bomb. Too. Three ingredients. Oh, grains. cereal? It's coconut flakes. It literally is replacing, you know, uh, all the sugary cereals. That's in awesome. That's, um, so cool. that's a really good one for your community. And and so I think, you know, our, our goal is just to continue to serve our members in a better way to help our brands tell their stories. Mm -hmm. uh, and we really make good on your social mission, which is really all about expanding access to healthy food and, and empowering people along the way. That's awesome. I love that. And as long, along with that as well, there's so many more people utilizing the convenience of online shipping or online grocery buying as well. So um, I think having an exclusively organic place to go and do that for people that are looking to do, looking to have more healthy food access for themselves and for their families, I think this is awesome and I'm excited to be part of this uh, this family and to share it with you guys as well. So thank you so much for your so, time. So appreciate your support. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's awesome. I loved hearing the story from you too. Thank you. Alright guys, it is now midday. I changed from jeans into sweatpants because I was out all morning, had some meetings, and now it's like afternoon time, and I'm home the rest of the day, and it's time to eat again, so sweatpants it is. Those jeans, by the way, are from Topshop. They're the Joni jeans, and these are from Target. I love these sweatpants. They are my favorite. They're a little stretched out right now because I haven't worn them and washed them and I keep wearing them, but I love them. of the day we have red pepper mushroom canned tuna guacamole and a serving of quinoa I like to make it look pretty and then I'll take a photo I like to mix my food all together so you get all of the best bites like I don't like it separate it needs to be all mixed together like this just looks absolutely delicious so let's quinoa guac and tuna Oh good. All right, here's what we got for the next meal. It's just chicken and then I cracked an egg white over it with the chicken and I cooked the rice separately and I just cooked the rice in the skillet. And then I mix it all together with a little bit of reduced sugar ketchup and then some salt and pepper. I'm a huge salt and pepper girl. What's up guys? So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about the company that is sponsoring this video. They are called Thrive Market and I know it's just another sponsored video to you guys or some of you guys, but to me, this sponsorship is more than, this video and this partnership with them is more than just a sponsored video. It's actually something that I believe in and I truly care about and that's why I want to 
present this to you guys because I think it's super important. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what they are and what they do and then how you benefit and then also why I think it's important in my experience with them today. And I actually went to the headquarters, you guys saw the little interview with the founder, Gunnar, and it was just awesome to be in the environment of people that are doing good work and doing good things for the uh, betterment of humanity, essentially. And it's just really cool to see like a company like that that's grown so much and like they are a startup company still. They started two and a half or three and a half years ago, I believe you said, and it's just crazy to, for me to see how much a company like that has grown. And I think it's truly because of not only like the good work that they do, but the social purpose behind the company. So it's kind of like an Amazon for groceries. So it's kind of like Whole Foods food. It's organic, non-GMO. There's not fresh food on the website yet, but they're working on it. I asked them about that, but there is bulk food. So like your rice and your beans and like your oils and your baking foods and like your condiments. And not only is it like the bulk non-perishable food. So like I got that like canned tuna today, it was really good. Quinoa, stuff like that that I ate today. There's chips on there, there's like protein bars, like the Think Thin bars I always get. Those are on there, but for cheaper. They have like skincare stuff, like like cleaning stuff, stuff for, stuff for parents, stuff for pets, like everything. Like there's so much stuff on there. Not only that, but there's stuff that's on there is they cut out the middleman. So the customer saves 20 to 50% or 25 to 50% on each product. So if you go on their website, they have like price comparisons and stuff. So if you are buying from Whole Foods or you're buying those types of foods or you're like a vegan or you're really focused on trying to find cheaper versions of the healthy foods, then that's where you can find them the cheapest. And essentially the customer pays $5 a month, but it's less than your Netflix membership. <laughs> it's not less than like your Amazon Prime membership. It's $10 a month. And you can get these foods for the, that cheaper price. So their mission is to make healthy living accessible for everybody. So not only does the customer win, not only does the person who's actually getting the membership win because they save, but every single customer that signs up they directly give a membership. So the person that signs up gets all this stuff, right? They give a membership, the same exact thing, to a low income family, a veteran or a teacher or a family that needs it and that otherwise wouldn't have access to that healthy food. So coming from a nursing background, coming from seeing that stuff in hospitals, there's people that just don't have access to anything um, healthy at all. So they go either without food or they just choose healthy options in order to make ends meet. And I think that this is probably the most amazing thing and the thing that I'm most excited about and happy to be sharing with the world and getting the message out there more. I'm like very happy and proud to be a part of the message spread of this company. It's kind of like Tom's shoes, right? So they give a pair of shoes for every shoes that you buy. They give a pair. It's, it's, it's the same idea. So you, you get yourself and you save and you win. And then you also be able, you're able to directly impact a low income family that can't afford something like this or just doesn't have that option. And they ship everywhere. It's free shipping for members. So I'm just really proud to be a part of the, the company itself. So what they're offering you guys for this video in order to make sure as many people out there check out Thrive Market as possible, it's 25% off of your first order. So the 25% off is on top of the 20 to 50% that you would save just by being a member. You also get free shipping and you get a 30 day free trial. So nothing to lose, at least something to try out. I highly recommend. And again, I'm really proud to be a part of this message spread of this company. And I'm gonna finish off the full day of eating with my last meal very soon. And I will catch you guys there. telling me two hours and 30 minutes on my phone today. That's not bad. Damn, that's really good. That's really good. I think it might have been off for part of the day. No, I haven't been using it. So last meal of the day, it's 9 p.m. It's just oatmeal, protein, and blueberries. Super simple, there's a little sugar-free syrup on top, and this is gonna be it. Oh my gosh, so good. That's freaking delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to devour this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.